my dear brothers and sisters, the encounter between the rich young man and Jesus, as we heard in our gospel this Sunday, reminds me of an illustration I saw on Facebook. Ayan po yung illustration. A little girl holding a little teddy bear. And it seems that Jesus is asking the girl to give him the teddy bear. But the girl says, But I love it. Mahal ko ito. And so she refuses to let go of her little teddy bear. But Jesus tells the girl, Just trust me. I have something better for you. Because the girl does not know that when she gives up her little teddy bear, Jesus will surprise her with a new and bigger teddy bear. My dear brothers and sisters, the rich young man who approached Jesus in our gospel asked Jesus a very important question. He asked Jesus, Good teacher, what must I do to inherit eternal life? What must I do to gain eternal life? A very important question. And Jesus answered him by saying, oh, Just follow the commandments and you will have eternal life. But the young man said, I have done that. Sinunod ko naman yung lahat ng utos ng Diyos. And Jesus told the young man, Go, sell everything you have, and follow me. Those words of Jesus were like a bomb that Jesus dropped on the young man. The words of Jesus are like what the letter to the Hebrews in our second reading today describes. Sharper than any two-edged sword, penetrating even between soul and spirit, joints and marrow. Napakatalas at napakatalim ng salita ng Diyos na tumatagos sa ating kalooban. At yan ang naranasan ng kabataang lumapit kay Jesus. He was probably not expecting the answer of Jesus to his question. He was not expecting that Jesus will tell him, Go sell everything you have and give them to the poor and then come follow me. Now what is happening here, my dear brothers and sisters? What is happening here is like a trade. The young man wants eternal life. And Jesus tells him, if you want eternal life, then stop holding on to your material riches. If you want eternal life, let go of your worldly wealth. If you want eternal life, then you must only hold on to me. But it seems that the young man was not ready to let go of his possessions. Just imagine the trade that is happening here. The young man was asking for something great, eternal life. And Jesus is only asking him to let go of some little things in his life. Worldly wealth. Ang hinihingi niya, malaking teddy bear. Sabi ni Jesus, gusto mo ng malaking teddy bear? Oh, let go of your little teddy bear. 
But the rich young man cannot let go of the little teddy bear. That is why he turned his back from Jesus and he went away sad. What a missed opportunity. This is also what we heard in our first reading today. When the wise man says that when I receive wisdom, I can give up everything else because I prefer wisdom to scepter and throne to any priceless gem or gold or silver. Nakita ko na yung pinakamahalaga kaya kaya ko nang bitawan ang iba pang hindi naman mahalaga. My dear brothers and sisters, this is one important lesson we all should learn in our life. If you want something better, then learn to let go of the good. If you want something bigger, then stop holding on to what is small. If you want something greater, then stop clinging to what is less. The reason why we do not receive what is better and bigger and greater is because we want to cling, to hold on to what is little, what is less, and what is good. We do not want to let go of our little teddy bears. That is why we cannot receive the big teddy bear that God wants to give us. What are the little teddy bears that Jesus is asking you to let go? You know, my dear brothers and sisters, often there is more pain and sadness in holding on than in letting go. And there is more joy and freedom in letting go than in holding on. This young rich man chose to hold on. That is why he went away sad. If he only let go, he would have been very happy. He would have experienced happiness that this world could never give. You know, my dear brothers and sisters, one time I was traveling to Rome. And because the travel, the flight to Rome is very long, when I was booking my flight, naisip ko, ano kaya mag-business class ako? Para naman masarap-sarap ang aking biyahe. But when I saw the price, I told myself, hindi ko kaya to. Hindi kaya ng budget. Kaya naghanap na lang ako ng exit row seat. Yung exit row seat, malaki rin, lang, ama, malaki rin naman ang leg room. Okay na din. Medyo convenient na din. But at, I had to pay a little more than the usual rate. Sabi ko, okay na yan kaysa business class. So I reserved an aisle seat along the exit row. The night before my flight, I was trying to check in online. Kaya lang, ayaw mag-proceed ng system. The system keeps saying, I have to go to the airport and check in at the counter. So the following day, the day of my flight, I went to the airport and checked in at the counter. As I approached the lady at the counter, I told him, I told her, ah, bakit kaya hindi ako maka-online check-in? Sabi niya, ay sir, nagpalit ho ng aircraft. 
And because there was a change of aircraft, na bago po yung configuration ng seats. Medyo kinabahan at nag-alala na ako. Baka mawala yung aking biniling aisle seat along the exit row. Kaya sinabi ko kaagad sa kanya, sabi ko, Miss, uh, bumili kasi ako ng aisle seat along the exit row. Uh, yun pa rin ba yung seat ko? Sabi niya, Sir, titinan ko lang po. So, chinek niya yung system at sabi niya sa akin, Ay, Sir, nalipat ho kayo ng upuan. Nung marinig ko yun, uminit na ang ulo ko. Nainis na talaga ako at sabi ko sa kanya, Miss, binayaran ko yung aisle seat na yun sa exit row. Kailangan dun ako maupo. Sabi ko, gawan mo ng paraan yan. Dapat dyan ako maupo. Sabi niya, o oh, sige sir, pero gusto niyo talaga dun? Oo, dun ko gusto. Yun ang binayaran ko. Sabi niya, sigurado ho kayo sir. Oo, sigurado ako. Tapos nagtanong ako, saan ba ako nalipat? Exit row din ba? Sabi niya, sir, hindi po eh. O kaya nga, ibalik mo ako sa exit row. Sabi niya, sigurado ho kayo. Sabi ko, sigurado ako. Sabi ko, saan ba ako nakaupo? Sir, na-upgrade ho kayo sa business class. All the way to Rome. Sabi niya, sir, gusto niyo yung ilipat ko kayo sa exit row. Ay, no, 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 no. <laughs> Sabi ko sa kanya, hindi naman kita mabiro. Okay yan, no? Okay yan. <laughs> If I held on to my aisle seat along the exit row, I would not have enjoyed the convenience of traveling business class all the way to Rome. My dear brothers and sisters, if Jesus asks you to let go, like the rich young man in today's gospel, then willingly let go. Because God will only take away so that better things can come our way.